Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. One of the world's oldest and most well-known helicopter designs is Bell, an American company headquartered in Fort Worth, Texas. Founded in 1935, the company initially focused on fixed-wing aircraft before ultimately introducing its first helicopter, the Bell Model 30. As helicopters began to see more and more use in military applications, Bell began developing new technologies to make their aircraft more competitive on the battlefield. The Bell XH-13F Su, for instance, was the first helicopter to exceed 200 miles per hour in level flight. Next came the Bell UH-1 Iroquois, commonly known as the Huey. It became an iconic helicopter widely used during the Vietnam War for troop transport and medical evacuation. Eventually, the company began experimenting with tilt rotor aircraft like the V-22 Osprey, which combined the best features of both helicopters and airplanes to create an entirely new type of aircraft. Introduced in the early 2000s, the Osprey quickly evolved into one of the most valuable aircraft in the U.S. military. Its large cargo capacity, vertical takeoff capabilities, and foldable design made it ideal for use aboard aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. In no time, the 57-foot-long Osprey became a favorite of the United States Marines, who needed ways to transport troops and equipment from ship to shore quickly and efficiently. Nonetheless, the Osprey soon earned a reputation for being somewhat tricky to handle. and the military began looking for a new, more reliable tilt-rotor solution. So, in 2017, Bell Helicopter introduced the V-280 Valor. Though its carrying capacity is slightly lower, the Valor has a more extensive combat range and a better performing vertical lift system. As technology has moved very quickly since the early 2000s, the Valor also incorporates a range of enhanced features and sensors to improve its overall performance in combat situations. As of the early 2020s, the V280 was still in development. And to ensure that the company delivers the best possible platform for U.S. soldiers, Bell has invited troops from the 101st Airborne Division to see the design and provide direct feedback. These soldiers were given a chance to explore the cabin, sit in the seats, and assess the various functionalities of the new aircraft. Bell knows that these are the exact individuals who will be using the Valor on a day-to-day -day basis. And the company wants to make sure it is anticipating these soldiers' needs and constantly improving on the design. By incorporating this feedback on all levels, Bell can create a platform that's easier to fly, easier to fix, and that actively saves the U.S. military time and money. The idea for a VTOL airplane, which stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing, has existed since the 1930s. Though helicopters had already been invented, they lacked in certain performance areas compared to traditional planes. Perhaps the aircraft that played the most prominent role in developing tilt-rotor technology was the Bell XV-15. 
This prototype aircraft was explicitly designed to test the viability of a VTOL aircraft capable of transitioning to fixed-wing flight. The XV-15 was a joint venture between Bell Helicopter and NASA, with the first flyable version being introduced in the late 1970s. The XV-15 bears a striking resemblance to both the Osprey and the Valor, boasting two large, tilting rotors mounted on the wings. The 57-foot-long aircraft could carry up to 3,400 pounds. Its 25-foot rotors allowed it to reach speeds of nearly 400 miles per hour and provided significant maneuverability. Most importantly, the plane proved that the tilt rotor concept could work in a military application. Though it will be phased out in the coming decade, the V-22 Osprey is still considered the most iconic of all tilt rotor aircraft. In fact, Bell spent more than 20 years perfecting the design with its partner, Boeing. During the development process, the project suffered from accidents and budgetary issues, which cast doubt over whether or not tilt rotors would ever see actual military service. Eventually, the designers got it right. The Osprey family evolved to include several variants. Among these is the MV-22B, which is used primarily by the Marine Corps. Another variant is the CV-22, designed for special operations like incursions, exfiltrations, and resupply missions. It features terrain-following radar, additional communications equipment, and infrared countermeasures, among other improvements. The Osprey's primary advantage is its versatility. Its unique design allows it to take off, land, hover, and efficiently perform aerial maneuvers. This makes it an ideal platform for troop movement, cargo transport, and more. It also makes the Osprey the perfect aircraft for ships and forward operating bases. After all, the Osprey doesn't need a traditional runway in order to perform its duties. It only requires a patch of flat land big enough to accommodate its landing gear. The use of tilt rotor aircraft is by no means a uniquely American concept. Companies across Europe have been looking for ways to incorporate this technology in both civilian and military aircraft for decades. A great example is the Leonardo AW609. Leonardo SPA is an Italian aerospace, defense and security company headquartered in Rome. Over the years, it has contributed to the country's military arsenal in several ways. One example is the 609. This fourth generation aircraft can carry up to nine passengers and has a maximum takeoff weight of more than 16,000 pounds. As it can take off and land like a helicopter, it provides a high level of versatility to different operations. Already, the plane is being considered for military use private transportation, and even potential medical and search and rescue applications. 
While smaller than the Osprey or the V280, the Italian government sees a lot of potential in operating a scaled-down tilt rotor with such impressive capabilities. Meanwhile, a German company known as Lilium GmbH is taking VTOL technology even further. This forward-thinking business hopes to provide an on-demand air taxi service with the aim of revolutionizing urban transportation. It's appropriately named Lilium Jet. Though still in the prototype phase, it's already garnered a lot of attention from individuals and companies worldwide. The Lilium Jet is powered by an all-electric propulsion system, but functions as a tilt rotor aircraft similar to the AW609. The overall design is sleek and futuristic, and the capabilities are equally impressive. For instance, the Lilium boasts a range of up to 186 miles and can travel roughly 190 miles per hour. 60 knots. Okay. Rather than use massive rotor blades, which could prove very dangerous in an urban setting, the jet utilizes 36 electric ducted fans for both lift and propulsion. Despite feeling like something out of science fiction, the Lilium jet is actually very close to becoming a reality. There are two designs, a five-seat model and a seven-seat model, and the company is already in the process of obtaining certification from European aviation authorities. Reducing speed. If all goes to plan, this electric aerial taxi could begin flying around Germany as early as the mid-2020s. Not to be excluded from the VTOL technology race, several British companies are exploring various ways of bringing urban vertical flight to civilians worldwide. Arc Aerosystems, formerly Samad Aerospace, has been working to develop a wide range of VTOL planes and helicopters, which combine luxury and performance with innovative design. Many of its prototype aircraft resemble large drones and function in much the same way. Where possible, they utilize small propellers and minimally sized engines to save on power usage while allowing for impressive speed and maneuverability. Many of these, including the E-Starling cargo hover, are all electric. This particular transport can carry one passenger and 400 kilos of cargo over a range of 220 kilometers, reaching speeds of more than 120 miles per hour. As companies like Arc, Leonardo and Lilium continue to grow and innovate the zero emission vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, the future of aviation technology is bound to materialize more tangibly. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.